Hello, hello, and once again, welcome to another edition of the Lions Den Podcast. My name is Adam Williams, the Assistant Sports Information Director here at Mars Hill University. Today's episode, again, a lot of fun. They all seem to be that way, don't they? Uh, today we speak with three members of the Mars Hill Men's Soccer Program, Sam Rowe, Cam Maser, and Jordan Lennon. They recap some of their 2017 season. They talk about the preseason and how that's been going, and we also look forward to to the 2018 campaign. So without any further ado, let's get to our conversation with three members of the Mars Hill Men's Soccer Program right now. Sitting here with three members of the Mars Hill Men's Soccer Team, Sam Rowe. Hey guys. Cam Maser. How's it going? And Jordan Lennon. You guys all right? How are you guys doing so far? Good. Pretty good, pretty good. It's been a good week. Uh, So hard-hitting question right off the bat. You know, I've stumped a few people so far. How's your summer's been? Um, My summer was all right up until about July, but... Other than that, it was it was pretty good. Went to Nashville, uh, one of my best friends' wedding, so it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, mom was pretty good. I was actually at their wedding as well. Uh, Nashville was a good a good weekend. Um, didn't really do much, just worked and uh, worked out, and that was about it. <laughs> yeah, my son was good as well. I didn't go to the wedding. I went back home in England, um, chilled, went to the festivals. It was a good summer. And being back at Mars Hill, you know, are you guys excited to be back, or you know, uh, was summer a little too short for you guys? Oh, I couldn't wait to get back personally. I can't wait to just be around all the guys and just and just start playing, and I guess just get back into the flow of things and kind of get back into the real real world in a way. Oh yeah, I was. I mean, <clears throat> I was excited as well. Like the for the last couple of weeks of summer, kind of dragged on. I'm uh, just ready to get back, get get back playing, and just be around the team. Yeah, I mean, being at home was a bit, it got a bit draining, there was nothing much to do, so it's always nice to be back with the boys, training again, playing. And talking about training, you guys wrapped up about the first week or so of practices. How are you guys feeling so far? Um, How are you guys adjusting to Coach Munn's philosophy compared to Coach Hamels from last year? Um, I feel feel pretty good. Um, Legs are a bit tired. Um, I'm pretty, I'm just excited really to get started with with Coach Munn. Uh, I think it's nice to have a coach that actually uh, it feels like he wants to win, and uh, it feels like he has our back. So, yeah, it's a I'm lot, excited. Yeah. It's a lot different atmosphere. It's like all the boys are motivated to play, and they all want to go. Last year was a bit, you know, hit and miss, but this year it looks like it's going to be fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it's uh, my view. It's been it's been excellent. It's been a fun week. Uh, glad all the guys are back healthy. Um, just looking forward to first game. So, can't wait to get there. Uh, so. Coach Munn and I, we've, we've talked off mic quite a bit, and even on the, the podcast that we record about kind of changing or maybe just reestablishing a culture around the, the Marshall men's soccer program. We just wrapped up media day. We have a, a few fun things in store for the fans uh, throughout the season. But how do you guys feel that Coach Munn has done so far in terms of shaping shaping that culture and the vision that, that he's been bringing to the program? I think he's done excellent. Um, I think everyone's bought in. Everyone is... Um, I guess on page and is ready to work their tail off for him and for each other, and that's just really what he, what he uh, like I guess preaches on is play for each other and play for him. And at the end of the day, if you give it your best, I mean, can't really ask for much else. But just keep pushing day in day out. He knows everyone's tired right now, so we just have have to keep grinding until we get our off days, and then we recover, and then we go back at 100% at the next training session. So with the training going on, um, you know, early on in the season, is it tougher for you guys to find the legs early on, e- even though you've, you know, you've done your work in the off season, um, but then coming back and getting into that full grind, is it? Do you find it tougher year after year, or uh, has this year just been maybe, you know, that little standalone? I mean, it's always tough, but this year we've had more spirit coming in. It's been a much better atmosphere with Greg. Um, the boys are all much, they're more together, it's more family based, so it's been fun, rather than stressful. Yeah, I mean, like, it is It is tough, because, I mean, like, you push yourself hard over the summer, so kind of like, by the end of it, you're a bit drained, but when you come back in, you're, you're ready, and uh, I think this has definitely been the most intense preseason that we've had, so I think right now, a bit more sore than usual, but I think we're all pushing through it, and we're, we're, we're getting through it, so... And with that intense preseason, how do you guys think that's going to translate onto the pitch this year for 2018? I think it's just gonna it's gonna help us so much. I think we're like coach says we're ready to 
to outwork everyone. So, uh, Jumping back, we're going to talk about 2017 real quick. Uh, it was a solid year for you guys. Made the postseason uh, against Lincoln Memorial. Uh, unfortunately, didn't go the way that you guys were hoping it would. But the team seemed to be in almost every single contest throughout the year. Very close games. Um, you know, how did how did you guys feel? Do you think the poise level is still there, or, or what was it that made you guys so competitive with those uh, those close games? Um, I think it was just kind of our mentality as players, just wanting to go out and be as competitive as as possible. And obviously, some of the results didn't go our way, but when they did, that just showed that kind of the hard work that we did put in. And um, Coach Hamill's like, I guess, his game plan for us to to put us in the position. Uh, in the best position for us to win, but I think this year those close results will will end up going our way because, like like these two have said, um, just the work rate we've put in, like our work rate on the field is going to be completely different from last year. We're going to go after teams. We're gonna we're gonna basically take the game to teams in in a sense, and we're gonna outwork every team we play no matter what. So going back to 2017 uh, again, we'll stick there for just a little bit. Were there any favorite moments that you guys had, uh, either? Uh, on the field, on the road, uh, anything throughout the season that really stands out to you guys? I think my favourite moment was when we played against Wingate and we was 1-0 down and I got to score. And it came 1-1. I think that was my biggest moment because it was at home and the atmosphere was nice. Unfortunately, we lost, but it was still one of the best moments I had. I think my favourite moment was on the road at Queen's last year. Uh, I think we beat them with like a minute and a half left. Mm. Um, the commentators didn't know what hit them. <laughs> nah, yeah, but it was it was a that was a good road win. Uh, we stuck it out and we got the result. So I think that was probably my favorite. Um, I mean, obviously, any time with the boys is is always is always fun. But I think the moment that sticks out to me the most is uh, the away game against Lincoln Memorial. We won one nil. Thanks, Dion scored with like what, a minute or two left. Something. Yeah, it was very late in the game. Something around there. We just just kept going and then um, that kind of put us I think that that game also guaranteed us postseason play so that uh, that also really stuck out to me and just showed all of our hard work that we've we've put in you know looking forward to the 2018 season we've talked about preseason we've talked about how we how we feel it's going to translate onto the field what are you guys most looking forward to personally for the season I'm looking forward to see how the boys connect on the field in actual season. I think it'll be exciting to see how well we play and how we take the game to teams, as Cam said. Um, I think what I'm looking forward personally is our reaction to when we are in those close games. Are we going to grind it out? Are we going to let the team come to us? And I guess we'll kind of go on the counter. I think it'll be the, the opposite that we'll be there. The opposite this year, we'll be taking it to the teams and we'll be the one dictating the game late in. So, um, I'm waiting to get those those last second goals from whether I know Stian's not here, whether it's Sam or Jordan, or even me myself. I know I can't really shoot, but um, uh, I mean, just wh- whoever it is, whoever's on team. I mean, we'll all be on the same high. We're, we're all gonna ride the highs together and ride the lows together. So we're just gonna be a family. I think I'm, I'm excited for um, obviously playing, but it just like just seeing how we are. I think we're a lot stronger team this year. Um, we've got a lot of experience on the team we have and I do think we've come together and we're a bit closer this year um, just through coach with our activities that we've been doing and training's been very intense there's a lot of competition on the field um, so I think it's going to drive us for a successful season and uh, that's that's what I'm excited for because I think we can do very well this season. Well, I know I'm certainly looking forward to it. I know there's a lot of Lions fans out there looking forward to uh, this 2018 campaign as well. Uh, before we let you guys go, uh, we know we have uh, practice in a little a little more than – well, you guys, not me, sorry. But uh, uh, let's wrap up with a few questions here. Um, some rapid fire. What are some of your favorite bands or some music that you guys really enjoy listening to um, to get you guys pumped up for games? Oh, Travis Scott, easily. Uh, That's my favorite artist. Uh, either house music or like future young thug. Yeah, future young thug. I like to keep it English sometimes, but J House culture funds, but <laughs> I'm strictly Travis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are there any movies that you guys watch as a team? That's kind of a you know a good little bonding thing. Or is there any movies that you guys watch personally on those long road trips? Anything along those lines? Well, we actually watched it. Was it last night or two nights ago? Two nights, two, yeah, two yeah. nights ago, we watched it as a team. But normally when we're on the road, if there's 
any sort of Premier League on or type of soccer on. That's normally what we watch. Um, sometimes the, the TVs don't work on the bus, so we got to kind of find them on a laptop and find someone's hotspot. But um, there's normally not one particular thing we watch. It's just kind of go with the flow right there and just kind of relax before before yeah. the game. Yeah, mostly naps. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you guys have any favorite pregame meals? Ooh. Oh, man. Uh, I'm used to the subways. 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 We get our subs. The favorite? It's not, I mean, <laughs> it's just food, you know? It's not my food. I think if I had to pick, it'd probably just be, like, simple. Like, just, like, a bagel or, like, just carbs yeah. and pasta. I don't know. I think for me... Um, a peanut butter and jelly and a banana is always is always a go to. <laughs> do you guys have any pregame rituals or superstitions that you do before you head out onto the field? I got to get my socks right. If my socks don't look right, then it's uh, then it's uh, not going to be a good game. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of the same. I always have my my socks up high, but I don't really have any like superstitions. I think maybe the only thing that come close to it is that. I don't warm up with my shin guards on. Like I, don't, yeah. I hate doing that. Yeah. I've never done it, so I always put them on like last second, and that's it for me. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really got any superstitions. My left boot always goes on first. I'm right footed, and I don't know why that is, but <laughs> that always happens. So we hinted earlier at favorite moment of 2018. Uh, let's say your favorite moment or something you're looking most forward to this year off field. Uh, a lot of you guys, or Sam and uh, Cam, you guys are seniors this year. What are you guys looking forward to kind of that last year here at Marcel? And, and Jordan, what are you looking forward to this year? I guess for me, it's just because it is my last year, it's kind of giving it my all. Um, I don't want to leave anything on the field. Um, uh, I just basically just, <laughs> just leave it all, like I said. Um, but what I want, what I really want at the end is that, uh, the championship coming back to to Mars Hill because I know um, Coach Mon was a part of one of the championship teams here and he's trying to get that program back to where it was and he's trying to inst- uh, I guess kind of imp- imprint that in our heads that you're gonna have to leave it all on the field if you if you really want it you can't every game it's just got to be 100 percent all the time. Yeah, I mean I agree. Like on the field, it's what we want. Um, on the field or off the field. Um, I think mean, just making the most of my time here with uh, the guys is obviously like we're like a family. So um, I mean, you come here, you make you make great friends. So you wanna you wanna cherish those moments for this last year. So yeah, as you said, you've got uh, quite a few seniors leaving this year. So I feel like off the field for me, it'd be nice to spend time with the boys. I've got quite a chill semester this year, so it'd be nice just to relax with them and enjoy myself. Well, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to do the podcast. Really enjoy it and uh, really had a lot of fun, you know, doing Media Day and and doing this and really looking forward to this upcoming season. For those that are interested in following what you guys are doing as a team, is uh, where on social media can Lions fans follow you? Um, I believe on Instagram it's um, at Mars Hill Lions, I believe. Uh, Oh, I was pulling on my personal. (laughs) (laughs) Um. I believe that's both for the men's soccer Twitter and men's soccer um, Instagram. Yeah, so Instagram is MHU Soccer, and then I believe Twitter should be around the same. Yeah, Twitter's the same. Uh, you can follow my personal account <laughs> uh, uh, S R O E twenty five. Cam underscore Macer. That's Instagram, and then Twitter is at C underscore Macer four. And my Instagram is just Jlens underscore. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much once again for taking time. Best of luck this upcoming season. Thank and you. Looking forward to it. Thank, thank you. you thank you. Thank you. That was our conversation with Sam Rowe, Cam Macer, and Jordan Lennon of the Marcel men's soccer team. And a uh, great group of guys. And looking forward to this 2018 campaign. We spoke with them, as mentioned at the beginning of the show, just prior to their exhibitions. And in those exhibitions, the offense was on fire. Marcel outscored Southern Wesleyan on August 25th, 4-2, to and then on the 27th at home against Brevard, outscored them 5-1. to They scored nine goals in two games. And to put that into perspective, the entire 2017 campaign, the Lions only scored 15 goals. So while these guys are a lot of fun off the field, they're going to be a lot of fun to watch on the field as well with this dynamic offense. 
a little bit of a, a mix up at the end here trying to plug their social media so uh to get the official mars hill men's soccer information their twitter is at mhu men's soccer and on instagram at mhu soccer so that is where you can find anything and everything going on with the mars hill men's soccer program again for anything going on with any mars hill athletics please visit the website marshilllions.com Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all at MHU Lions. Once again, guys, thank you so much for listening to this episode of the podcast, and we'll talk to you soon.